Independent candidate Paulus Mbangu criticized NIDA for mismanagement, citing the agency's failure to effectively manage its responsibilities. He proposed several recommendations aimed at reforming governance and improving accountability within NIDA and other state-owned enterprises. The Namibia Industrial Development Agency, NIDA, was owed a total of 89 million in 2023, mainly due to the rent arrears of the active and the vacated tenants. But when the Minister of Industrialization and Trade, Honra Bulusia Ipumbu, intervened and distracted them to collect the money within 60 days, they managed to collect 4 million from April 2022 up to June 2023. What does that tell us? It tells us a clear sign of incompetency within the agency. Out of the 148 industrial estates, tourism centers, and small and medium enterprises and business parks across the country, most of them are struggling financially. Instead of developing and managing and offer industrial infrastructures for economic activities that focus on job creation and import substitute of product and service and investment attraction, NIDA is out there with a begging bowl waiting for the government's bailout. Committee members, including Chen Skadongominya and Gera Chimi, called for an end to bailouts and rigorous oversight of NIDA and other SOEs to protect national interests. Why is the ministry year in, year out budgeting to give money for NIDA? What reasons are they having to give money to NIDA? That is what they want to. A really cardinal thing and a very important thing that we as a committee and as a house here wanted to know. So, my request and my plea to our house, we have to engage government on a very, very, very serious note. Either to dismantle media totally, and then we will see how... It's a company called Agrobistev who is learning the green schemes. Same behaviors they are doing is what also needs us behaving. So the agrobusters kill almost the, the whole green schemes in Namibia. We need to be very much vigilant and investigate all these uh, state enterprises so that uh, we can protect our countries. The session called for urgent reforms within NIDA to restore public trust and ensure effective economic development through improved governance and performance. Martha Mafangeo, NBC News, Parliament.